Games. So for today, I just want to give you guys an idea of the kind of games I've been playing lately because that's what I do. I make games, I play games. And I make videos and I... Do I play videos? Well, yeah, I do play videos. What? Yeah, of course. But no, really. The thing is, is that there's quite a number of games that I've been playing that I never get to talk about because I do a show about DOS games. Like, I mean, I do a filler video every so often, but... Sometimes it's not about the games that I've been playing, it's about other things. So, I just felt it'd be a good idea to give you guys an idea of what I've actually been playing the past little while. So one of the games I've been playing a bunch of lately is Gemcraft Chapter 2 Chasing Shadows, which is the next game in the series of Gemcraft Labyrinth, which I covered back in a filler video. And this game is just freaking amazing as far as tower defense is concerned. However, I'm not really going to be able to show you any decent footage because I've gotten so far into this game that <laughs> all of my stats are just ridiculous. So it's kind of hard to give you an idea of how this game is supposed to play because as it stands right now what I do with every level because of how high I've gotten in my stats is that I just plop a few gems down set the speed to maximum and just upgrade the heck out of them and there I go so that, that was a shortcoming with Gemcraft Labyrinth as well but you have to go through a lot of gameplay to get to that point I've been playing a ton of Pinball Arcade too, as you probably would imagine by now, but one of the interesting things is that I'm actually part of the private beta now, so that means I get to test stuff a couple weeks before anybody even knows it exists. And unfortunately I can't actually, you know, discuss the things that I'm testing or anything, because <laughs> it's, you know, you, you don't want to get give people all the details of something that, without like, you know, it's hard to explain because it, it, it's kind of weird in a sense because the private beta really isn't that far behind the stuff that goes public. So they, they still want to have control over what people know and everything and control over their announcements and everything. But as it stands, because I'm part of the private beta, there's not really too, too much I can show or tell you guys about. But what I can tell you guys about are tables that have actually been released and everything. Like, we got Xenon here, which was one of the more recent ones. It was actually a contest winner in a sense, because Farsight Studios was trying to determine which older table they should bring back. I was kind of hoping for Paragon, but well, Xenon's not bad either. And then another one they recently released was Jackbot, which I didn't think I'd like that much at first, because it's basically like a reskin of Pinbot, but it's actually pretty decent. Like, I mean, if I ever came across this game in real life, I'd definitely put quarters in it. One game I was surprised to learn even existed was Geometry Wars 3 Dimensions Evolved. I mean, the Geometry Wars series has always been really slow with their releases, and the last major one was Galaxies, way back for the Wii and the DS. So the fact that this one came out at all just surprised me, and it's really well done. Like, I mean, this game is really fast action, really intense, has extremely high level of polish. My only complaint about it really would be that it's kind of difficult. Like, I mean, more difficult than the previous games. But you know, that's not that big a deal. Like, I mean, the people who like these games generally want them to be really freaking hard. And this game will get really freaking hard if you want it to. In fact, it even has a hardcore mode, which I haven't even tried playing yet because I'm kind of afraid to. <laughs> 
but yeah, this this thing's just fun and intense. Although, <laughs> um, that recent video I did of Broforce with Clint Basinger of Lazy Game Reviews, we actually were going to do Geometry Wars 3 at first, but we found out that the online multiplayer is kind of weird, so that's why we went with Broforce. And speaking of... That's another game I've actually been playing quite a bit of, is Broforce. Like, this game is just absolutely ridiculous. It's like... <laughs> I, heard th I heard that it's like some other game I can't remember the name of right now that everybody is recommending I try now that I know about it. Um, yeah, I'd have to go back to my notes because I don't remember things that easily. But, anywho, this game is just... <laughs> it's just ridiculous. You basically are playing as all these, like, masculine role models who with guns and weapons and stuff and just blasting your way through enemy bases and bosses and it's, it's just so ridiculous and everybody's like you can tell the likeness of every character in here but they all have renames with the word bro in them just to sort of tie it in with this thing And the last game I've been playing a bit of recently is actually 10 million. Yeah, that's the name of the game, is 10 million. It's something that came out quite a bit ago, and I played it quite a bit back then, and it's not really a long game or anything, but this is something I like coming back to every so often, and I just happened to come back to it recently. Basically, you're just matching tiles to progress through levels. That's that's really all there is to this thing. It's, it's just a it's just done in a really fun way, because you get to upgrade your stuff as you go along, and... It's basically, if you like games like Bejeweled and stuff like that, then this thing is right up your alley. There's actually been quite a number of games besides these ones, too. It's just, well... Some of them are games that I haven't really been playing much anymore. Um, Minecraft is a good example. I've been playing a ton of Minecraft for over a year. I was doing the whole modded Minecraft thing with Feed the Beast, but just sort of been kind of getting out of it lately. I might get back to it eventually, because they're always coming out with ridiculously cool mods for the thing, but not for the moment. Um, and then there's other games I've been playing that I haven't been playing recently, like Shovel Knight and Rogue Legacy. I think I'm up to like New Game Plus 5 on Rogue Legacy or something like that. But yeah, they're games that I like and enjoy and had been playing, but haven't been playing recently, so what are you gonna do? So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on all that stuff. Um, we finally have our AC hooked up, but it's still pretty hot in here because I got all the lights and recording stuff going and everything, and I can't have my fan going. So, there's that, and not really much more to say, so, yeah. Games! <laughs> That's so silly. Games! Okay, ow, <laughs> the mic. <laughs>